welcome back to the Hayden Ratner Level Up Leadership Podcast. I'm super grateful you chose to jump on, log on, listen in on this podcast here today. If this is your first time listening, feel free to hit that subscribe button, maybe that little plus sign in the top right corner of your podcast app. Wherever it is you stream content, we'd love for you to stay in tune with us because every time we drop an episode, we pray that this content would help you level up in your leadership one episode at a time. And so the shares, the likes, the text messages, anybody who's commented or left a review, it means so much to me and our team here. And uh, I just wanna thank you for that. And I wanna encourage you to keep going. Maybe consider sharing this. Somebody may need to level up in their leadership here today. Well, I wanna jump into some content that has been on my heart. It's been stirring in me recently. I find myself uh, sharing this with different leaders in my life or on our team or just individuals when I go different places um, have asked me certain questions and I've noticed my response has been similar lately. So I thought, I'm just gonna drop a podcast on this subject of leadership. The title of today's podcast is Level Up by Showing Up. Level Up by Showing Up. I believe today, this year in 2023, you're gonna level up in your leadership by intentionally making the decision to show up. Uh, God showed up for us. He continues to show up for us. And I believe this is the greatest leadership quality that you could put into practice this year is the, the commitment to show up. There was a moment in Nina and I's life, Nina's my wife, and uh, we got invited to something recently. It was a, a big event happening in our city and um, we had the opportunity to go or not go. And so we talked about it. We were going to have to get a babysitter. We were going to have to just kind of have this plan work out. There was already a lot of things that we were doing that day. And we were going back and forth. Should we go or should we not go? And this principle hit me. It, it, it's always valuable. But you, you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? I think Wayne Gretzky said that, um, the great hockey player. But I want to tell you today, you'll miss every opportunity you don't show up to. And so Nina and I decided, you know what, we're going to show up and we're going to be open and see what God has for us. And it's just a fast forward to us getting in the car after the event. We closed the door, we looked at each other, and we both said in a similar way, I'm so glad we showed up. Could you imagine all of what we would have missed if we decided to not show up? Here's what I know. This year, you're going to have opportunities. You're going to have decisions to make. You're going to have places to go. You're going to get invited to something this year, and you're going to have the opportunity to either show up or not show up. I want to encourage you. Of course, if it's the wisdom on it, I don't think you need to show up to everything, but if you have an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to get better, an invitation to level up, show up. And now here's the thing I want to talk with you about. In the rest of this podcast, I want to talk to you about three ways you can show up, three decisions on how to show up. So you don't just show up, but you show up ready to level up. Here's the first one. Show up hungry. Show up with an appetite to learn. Show up with a hunger to get better. We say it all the time on this podcast that leaders are learners. Leaders aren't know-it-alls. Leaders don't have it all figured out. Leaders don't show up and they're completely full, full of themselves and full of a, a bunch of different things that, that they feel like they can contribute only. It's not to say that you can't contribute. It's saying, I'm not only here hungry to be all about me. I'm hungry here to grow. I'm hungry here to learn. One thing I'll say oftentimes at Walk Church, if you have attended a service, you'll hear me say this often. If you show up, you'll grow up. We do this thing at Walk Church called the three-week challenge where we encourage somebody who's came for the first weekend, hey, would you give us three weeks? Would you come back two more times? Because we believe just by showing up, you'll get more clear. Just by showing up, you'll have more opportunities to meet people. Just by showing up, you can ask more questions. Just by showing up, somebody gets to know your name. If you show up, you'll grow up. Uh, show up hungry. Show up hungry to get better. I was recently meeting up with a friend of mine and he knew me uh, over a decade ago when I was at um, our sending church called Hope Church. I was there and I was serving as an usher on the, the serve team there. And he said, let me ask you a question, Hayden. How did you go from usher Hayden to church planter, senior pastor Hayden, and all the stuff you're doing here today? And I was trying to think through some creative strategic answer. And I just thought, you know, don't underestimate the power of showing up. I've continued to show up along the years and 
Through showing up, more opportunities arise. Through showing up, more wisdom is imparted. Through, through showing up, you get to shake more hands. Through showing up, you get invited into more rooms. And I, I think if I would have bowed out too soon, I would have missed some of the blessing that God had for me along the way. There's so much value in showing up. Write this down. If you show up, you'll grow up. Number two, so the first point, show up hungry. The second point is this, show up with something to bring. I wanna encourage you, the next time you get invited to something, you you have an opportunity to go somewhere, it could be somebody's house, it could be a small group, it could be a church service, it could be a, a banquet, a dinner, a leadership environment, show up with something to bring. Let me read you this verse out of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25. The scripture says, whoever brings blessing will be enriched. One who waters will himself be watered. Come on, just hear that one more time. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched and one who waters will himself be watered. When you show up and you bring something, it says something will follow that. If you show up with water, you'll be watered. If you show up with blessing, you'll be enriched. There's something about bringing something that I think is contagious. It's it's It, it creates... Uh, atmosphere of generosity that you didn't just show up but you showed up with something to bring that is dope that's kind that is that that changes the room next time you get invited somewhere show up with something show up with some food show up with a gift show up with a thank you card show up with a gift card show up with uh some t show up with a smile you might say hey you know I don't have it really anything to bring financially um, I'm not in the season where I can bring a gift well, hey, you can bring a good presence. You know what's so powerful? Gratitude. You can show up grateful. You can show up and say, hey, I'm super thankful for the opportunity to show up. And here's why. Show up like that. Show up with a handshake, a firm one. Show up with eye contact. This is leadership. Leadership's not just um, having influence. Here's some of the ways you can gain influence by showing up generous, showing up with gratitude. Give, give me some examples. Well, it makes me think of the wise men that showed up on the Christmas story. They didn't just make that journey to see Jesus so they could say, hey, I saw baby Jesus or child Jesus. I made it all the way. No, they showed up with gifts, not just gifts, but their best gifts, right? They they showed up with the frankincense. They showed up with the, with the gold. Come on, they brought the gold out. They showed up with the myrrh. They said, we want to bring our gifts to honor the king, showing up and bringing something communicates a spirit of honor. How about uh, the woman with the alabaster flask, the, the oil? She didn't just show up and say, Jesus, I'm here to worship you. She said, and here's my example of worship. Here's how I'm going to worship. She broke the most expensive perfume that she had to honor and worship Jesus. She showed up with a blessing. I think of Jacob and Esau, which is an interesting story of two brothers who went in separate directions in the book of Genesis is where this story is found. And they went in separate directions. They lived a, a lot of life, a lot of pain, a lot of brokenness. And then they said, you know, we need to reconcile our relationship. And they said, when I show up and I see my brother, I'm not going to show up empty handed. I'm showing up with stuff to bring because I want to show up with blessing. I think of this little boy who showed up in the occasion where Jesus fed the 5,000, actually it's 5,000 plus with women and children. And Jesus has this moment, even knowing what he was gonna do, he tested the disciples and said, hey, feed these people. They say, hey, uh, we don't have food to feed them with. We don't have enough money or the time to go get food to feed these thousands of people. And I think what Jesus is communicating is this leadership principle. Well, who showed up with something to bring? Here's this little boy. He says, I got two pieces of fish. I got five pieces of bread. Could you use this, Jesus? And Jesus goes, you showed up today. Watch me do a miracle. I think we miss the miracles that God has for us when we fail to show up. By showing up, you invite the opportunity for God to take your small two pieces of fish and five, five pieces of bread. Y you invite Jesus to multiply that when you show up ready to give, show up with something to bring. I think it's just an important leadership principle that you can apply in your life today. Last point, number one, show up hungry. Number two, show up with something to bring. Number three, show up expectant. 
show up with an expectation about you that God is going to do something because you showed up. Listen, let me just go ahead and tell you something. He's going to do something regardless. It's whether or not you'll get to experience it is if you'll show up or not. Show up expectant. Let me give you the definition from the Oxford Pocket Dictionary for the word expectant. Here's the definition. Having or showing an excited feeling that something is about to happen. The word expectant means that you show up, but you don't just show up. You show up expectant. You are excited and ready for something that's about to happen. You might not know what's going to happen. You might not be fully aware of what's going to happen, but you'll only get to experience it if you show up. It's the idea of showing up optimistic, showing up with a desire and an openness to something good is about to happen. I want to encourage you to bring that mentality into every room you walk into uh, this year. Show up with this mindset. Something's going to unlock today. Something's going to strengthen me today. I'm hungry to get better. I'm eager to grow. I'm expectant by faith for something good to happen. I wrote this down and uh, maybe it'll help you. Uh, Here's what I wrote. The mindset you bring into something will determine the outcome you get out of something. Let me say it one more time. The mindset you bring into something will determine the outcome you get out of something. So if you bring in the mindset that I'm expecting, I'm optimistic, I'm here to level up, you know what you'll find? You'll level up. Even if the the, the message wasn't quite all for you, there's still something you can get out of it if you're open to it. Even if they didn't sing all the songs that you wanted them to sing, you can still find a way to worship through that in a way that adds value to your life and brings glory to God. I'm speaking of a church example in that case, but it could be a business meeting. It could be as a realtor, you're showing a home. It could be as a doctor or a nurse practitioner. Show up expectant. You don't know who you're going to run into today. When you go to Walmart to buy something, don't just walk in unaware. Show up expectant. Be eager to see what God has for you. God doesn't do things by accident. God does things with intentionality. I just think either we don't show up or we're not aware of what God is doing and we end up missing potential breakthrough and blessing that he could have in store for you. I think about sports. I remember having a season where things were going great. Um, I was playing a lot. I was in college and I was showing up eager to practice because I was in the rotation, I was playing, I was hooping, and I was excited about it. Well, in a different season, we had a coaching change and things looked a little bit different. I wasn't playing as much. I wasn't getting as much opportunity. All of a sudden, things weren't quite quite as awesome and as exciting as it was the previous year. And I stopped showing up expectant. I'll tell you what's one thing that feels negative. When you show up and you're not expected and then you get called upon, and then you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. The, the, the difference is if you if I was ready, if I was expecting, if I was hungry, if I was focused, if I, if I had something to bring, it would have changed the outcome of the moment. And so I decided that season, I'm going to show up to practice and I'm going to show up expectant. Things might not translate onto the game or it might translate, but either way, I'm going to honor the Lord and I'm going to show up expectant. I think there's so much value in showing up. I was talking to some of the the students that go to our church because I think sometimes people that are that are a little bit younger in middle school or high school, um, they could either take it or leave it. You know, I might just stay home this time. I might not attend or I might not show up or I might not get anything out of it. And, and, and here's what I tried to encourage some of our students with. Um, if you show up, you open yourself up to learn something, to grow, to get better. If you don't and you just stay home, well, then you don't and you just stay home. I would rather show up and have the opportunity to get better than do something where I know I'm just gonna stay stagnant. I think there's so much value in showing up. So that's what I wanna encourage you with here today on this podcast. Um, God has something in store for you this year. And I believe you're going to experience more of it. You're going to level up. You're going to grow. You're going to get better. The more you show up hungry with something to give and expect it, feeling ready and excited for whatever is about to happen. I found more fruit 
and leadership lessons in my life than in the times where I just say, you know what, uh, I'm just not going to show up. So that's my encouragement for you here today. So show up and let me know how God is moving and showing up in your life through this content. Send us an email, send us a hiding at walkchurch.com. I'd love to hear about that. Drop a comment, drop a review, like this, share this. Uh, somebody may need to hear this topic as well. Thanks for joining us today. Look forward to a new episode coming soon. God bless. Peace.